You better go to the doctor, better go to the nurse. You've been in and out of windows, now your dick probably burned. You've been fucking all the flippers, now your dick been showing symptoms of a nigga with that sh with that sh before Funny Mike would drop hilarious songs like Small Wee Wee, which has over 9 million views, Told On Myself, which has over 6.5 million views, and Mama Whoop My Ass, which is close to 7 million views. Before Funny Mike would become a cast member on Nick Cannon's MTV show Wild and Out. And before we'd have more than 145,000 followers on Twitter, over 1 million followers on Facebook, close to 3.5 million subscribers on YouTube, and over 5.3 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Before Funny Mike would take on the moniker of 22 Savage, which would get him into some online beef with 21 Savage. I know 22, I know 23. Yeah! Hey! Hey! The last time we documented this mod's rise to fame, well, he was going by the name of 22 Savage, which was the ultimate troll move. And it was enough to make 21 Savage send a few death threats at the young aspiring entertainer. Now fast forward the clock two years later and Funny Mike, he's made a big name for himself all on his own. Now Funny Mike, he turned an online comedy career into a semi-joking rap career, into a fully successful career as a rapper, comedian, writer, and entertainer on YouTube. But in between all that, he was facing a murder charge and he's since become a dad. Yeah, this is one of the most interesting stories we've gotten to tell here on this channel, but there's been a lot of updates since. So, you know, let's get into it. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden talking you through the life and career of Funny Mike prior to fame. Here for you of course and before they are famous. Now the original 22 Savage before they are famous video has become one of the most viewed on this channel. And there's been a lot of requests for an update. Now some other recent drops you might enjoy include Lil Tecca and an update on YG. You can check those out after this video, but for the time being, I've actually got a trivia question for you guys. Which important person in his life shares a birthday with Funny Mike? I'll give you a hint, it's like his boss. Place your guesses in the comments down below and stick around for the answer at the end of this video. All right, now let's roll that beautiful intro. Before they were famous. Before they were, Before famous. They were famous about. Oh. That was a pretty good video. I like this guy. Look, Freddie, you did a great job. Michael is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Whoa! Funny Mike wasn't born Mike at all. His real name is MacArthur Dean Johnson, and he was born on October 8th, 1996, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Is it Baton Rouge? I feel like I always get in trouble for saying that wrong. I've never been. Now early on, MacArthur, he was inspired by artists like Boozy and Kevin, but not so much Baton Rouge native Kevin Gates. In fact, he wanted to be more like Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I see how he sell out arenas, you know what I'm saying? Big arenas, 15,000 people, you know what I'm saying? Although before attempting to impersonate 21 Savage, well, there was apparently a plan for Mike to impersonate Kevin Gates' career. When Drinker came, pick me up from them gates, you heard me? She keep asking me questions. She thought something was wrong with me. She said, babe, what you want to do? I'm him. On the website of the record label that Mike would eventually sign to, well, they listed his upcoming mixtape title as almost the exact same name as the tape that Gates had out at the time. So maybe he had this plan all along. But you know, we'll get to that. I'm a multi-talented person, bro. Exactly. That's why I don't trap exactly. myself between one talent. You know, I can exactly. rap. Yeah, that, but I, I, I also got this, you know. MacArthur knew he wanted to be a famous entertainer, but he didn't know how he was gonna make it all happen. Now, although he would rap for fun at first, he thought his dreams would become true through comedy. Now, he started posting funny videos up onto a few different social media accounts that have since been deleted. Now, they included the names Mighty Mike, Funny S Mike, Girl He Funny, Mac Too Funny, but his first viral video was on Facebook and YouTube, and it was called Firecracker Challenge and here he was going by the name of Lil Mac. He was also posting songs at the time under the name of Lil Mac. And while he gained a small local fan base, well his Vine and his Instagram videos, they started to blow up and he gained a real following under the name of Mighty Mike and Funny Ass Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, my, see my, my Instagram was already, you know, yeah, popular, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was at like, you know, 200, you know what I'm saying? He attended Baker High School and there everyone knew about his comedy and he was a popular guy. Now he even made a song for his high school under the rap name Lil Mac called BHS Anthem and he performed it at a school pep rally. MacArthur graduated from high school and continued to grow his online following but his comedy career was put on hold when he was sent to juvenile detention. He was released on bond and with a new appreciation for his life he began ramping up his comedy doing pranks and skits with his high school friend Wings. Now the two became a duo known as Wings and Mike 
and at the time when asked about his future goals, well, he stated, See, I see myself, you know what I'm saying, owning a business or something, you know what I'm saying, some type of major labor or something, you know what I'm saying. But before he could do that, he signed to Travis James Entertainment as a comedy act. Now, at first, they didn't even know about his music career, but shortly afterwards, he released his single, Hit That Bit for the Gram. It's actually a pretty good song. You yeah, know, let's catch it. Now, using Mighty Mike as his rap name, well, the single had gained over 400,000 views online and had many fans excited for more. He also had major labels calling and wanting to sign him to a deal. But it was in May of 2016 that things took a turn for the worse once again when MacArthur was charged with second degree murder for an altercation with another man. Now, according to police reports, the two got into an altercation outside of a supermarket while the victim was passing out party flyers in the parking lot. Now, Johnson admitted to shooting the victim, claiming it was in self defense. His bond was placed at $370,000, but somehow Mike, he got the money and eventually he was released. So he moved on to his next venture. Now it's still unclear how he sourced the bail money, but Mike says that he had money prior to rap. Either way, Mike, he was looking for a way to get put on quickly, and it just so happened that at the time, a rapper by the name of 21 Savage, well, he was becoming a massive star. Now it may not be obvious out of context, but Mike, he looks a lot like 21 Savage. And uh, what we didn't know was the first time that Mike, well, he actually teamed up with a PR company to plot out how they could make his career go viral. Mike came up with the idea to unapologetically imitate one of the most popular rappers out. Now, after a freestyle online of him saying, it's 22, not no 21, went viral, well, he decided to take on a new rap moniker and see how far he could take it. Now, the PR company who was working on this well, they had this to say. Our publicity company loves the bold, brave, scandalous, outspoken, dangerous, cutting edge, and controversial artists. 22 Savage came up with an amazing idea, and it's great to be able to help light up the internet with it. This kid is a star, point blank. The moniker was 22 Savage. Now, you probably remember seeing his videos at the time, or at least memes with him in it. Now, we released a song with the same name as 21's hit, No Heart. And the video, well, it went pretty viral. Now the video has over 2.6 million views along with 25,000 thumbs up to 12,000 thumbs down. Now Mike, he completely took 21's flow, his tone, and even his ad-libs. The kid clearly knew what he was doing. He dropped three separate diss tracks towards 21 and they went viral with the song Ain't No 21 getting nearly 10 million views on World Star Hip Hop's YouTube channel. Sorry, that was a long sentence. He was getting so much traction that 22, he even got a response from 21 himself. He's dying for attention, like, ho, get off a n dick. You ain't finna make none of you broke, dusty, crumb, chasing that n famous, man. And even Fitty said he was trying to set up a boxing match between 21 and 22 Savage for the namesake. We're trying to put together 21 Savage, 22 Savage. They're gonna fight for the name, and then it's, we only gonna have one Savage, all right? Now eventually, Mike, he decided to drop the name 22, and instead he went by Young 22 for a while. Now we can't say for sure if it was because of threats from Savage's team, but based on his lyrics and his interviews, well, I feel like 21 Savage just ain't the kind of guy you wanna be beefing with. It's a knife! What does the cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. Since then, Mike has seen a lot of success online, dropping some hilarious songs, his dance challenges, his vlogs, some online shows, and being an overall entertaining personality on his YouTube channel. In 2018, Funny Mike, he joined the cast of Wall and Out for season 11 and 12, and he recently had a baby girl. And well, you know, it seems like he'll, you know, he's a great dad. It's some crazy stuff he posts, but he seems like a great dad. It's, it's my like, first, first baby, man. Might be my last, I don't know. You think so? You don't, you don't but I got too much nut in me, man. I got it. <laughs> in terms of the future, well, Funny Mike, he says that he wants to do more stand-up comedy and create short films. Also, based on his career trajectory, well, it seems like everything he tries, he'll be successful at. Kid's killing the game. I really want to do my only movies now, man. Yeah, you man. Know, my you only got... like short, like short films, like 30 minutes, just to start playing with it, because I'm, I'm, I'm a goat at a lot of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I be ghost writing for the little kids I take on to my page and shit. Yeah. Putting them on music shit. Just trying to, you know, make it happen at the same time, you know? He actually also shares the same birthday as another guy who killed the game in a lot of different avenues. I'm talking about his boss at Wild N' Out, good old Nick Cannon. Although I don't appreciate his use of turbans. And like my turban? I do. I've noticed, I've seen you wear a lot of turbans. This is your new look. I do appreciate his hustle. 
All right, guys, there you have the answer to the question from the beginning of this video. That's all I got for you in this one. My name, of course, is Michael McCrudden. Now, we could do a The Rich Life on Funny Mike. If he had enough money to get out of jail, I'm sure he's got a few M's in the bank. I don't know, just a guess. I'd have to work on that video to really find out. You guys gotta request it, you know where. You can find me on Instagram at McCruddenM. We're almost at 100,000 followers. Not bad for an old Canadian guy like myself. I also paid for this shirt which has paint on it. How dumb is that? <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!